dirty draft lines mean the beer will probably not taste the way it should. Then your customers aren't happy. They're less likely to order another beer or to come back. Clean beer lines mean better tasting beer, satisfied customers, more orders, and more tips for you. To keep your system clean, you should get it cleaned every two weeks at a minimum. This job may be done by a local distributor or by an independent contractor, depending on local laws. Keep a schedule so that cleaning is regular and documented. A couple of key tools are a cleaning pot, or even better, an electric pump, faucet brush, a spanner wrench, and special beer line cleaning solution. Electric pumps are especially important for long draw systems. Now, let's see how a contractor should handle this job. He starts out by mixing a cleaning solution inside the cleaning pot. He removes the coupler from the keg and attaches it to the cleaning pot. The cleaning solution will start to enter the beer line once he opens the faucet. He places the bucket under the faucet and opens it. The cleaning solution pushes out the beer that had been sitting in the line. Once cleaning solution starts to flow out of the faucet, he closes the faucet and allows the cleaning solution to sit inside the line. For long glycol lines found in facilities where the walk-in cooler is more than 35 feet from the bar, an electric pump is necessary to push the solution through the lines. The pump is also used for rinsing out the lines. While the cleaning solution is sitting in the lines, the faucet should be cleaned. With the cleaning pot untapped, the contractor removes and disassembles the faucet. He breaks it down over a surface where he won't lose any of the small component parts of the faucet. Then he cleans the faucet. He should clear the two small air vents in the faucet housing with a toothpick. Check the washers and brush out all three openings in the faucet housing. Now the faucet can be reassembled and reattached to the beer tower. After the line finishes soaking, it has to be rinsed out. The contractor removes the coupler from the cleaning pot and attaches it to the rinse pot, then runs water through the line to rinse it out. Once the line's rinsed out, the contractor should inspect the coupler to make sure it's in good working condition. If it is, he's ready to tap the keg again. He retaps the keg and pours a beer to push the rinse water out of the line and make sure everything's set up right. Now you've got a clean system that should be pouring great tasting beer.